In this video I'm going to show you how to catch kingfish from the jetties, like the pros. If you like the video, be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more videos like this, be sure to hit subscribe and click the bell to be notified when I release a new video. Let's get into it. Alright, let's get started with the lures. For light tackle, I like to use the Azuri 3DS Minnow. Really great for lighter rods. Cast it at decent ways. The only downside on them is they come with freshwater hooks. And the eyelets can pull off as well as you can see right there. This one's already loose. Caught some kingfish on that one as you can tell. Uh, this one upgraded the hooks. Caught some kingfish on this one as well. Really great lure for lighter stuff. If you want to upgrade, if you're throwing a heavier rod, you can use the Rapala X Wraps. Here's one right here, size 14, as you can tell in size comparison to the Azuri. It's a really great lure, it's going to throw a lot further. Of course, it weighs more. Here's a Rapala X Wrap long cast, size 14, with the singles on it. Got uh, wire leaders on those. Here's one in the box, right there. Had the leader already attached. And also, you can't forget the trusty spoon. Three ounce spoon, two ounce spoon. Great for getting distance. For the ultimate adrenaline rush, the lure you're gonna wanna throw is a top water lure. Kings will sky eight feet out of the air trying to inhale a top water lure. Top waters I would suggest for light tackle would be the heat and chug and spook worked with the walk the dog like action. Next up would be a popper lure that you crank and pop which creates a huge you splash at the pop. top of the water attracting right, fish. Pop. Poppers I like to use are the Daiwa Mabachi and the Tsunami Surface Blaster. As far as colors go, just pick something shiny. Let's get into leader material. On the right you have mono, on the left you have single strand wire. They're both great, I've caught kingfish on both. The downside with the mono is, if the kingfish inhales the lure, it's going to slice that mono. The downside with the wire is, it can get kinked, and once that wire gets kinked, it can break very easily. So it's all personal preference. Once you cast, let your lure sink for a few seconds. If you're throwing a spoon or other lures that sink a lot in deep water, wait a few more seconds before starting the retrieve. Now, to talk about the retrieve. There are so many ways you can work a lure. You can do a slow retrieve, a moderate retrieve, and a fast retrieve. You can throw some twitches and pauses in as well. I like to vary my retrieve to find out what the fish want that day. Let's talk weather. Notice in all these clips that the water is green with the wind blowing anywhere from 6 to 12 miles per hour. Don't expect to catch a kingfish when the wind is blowing 25 miles per hour and the water is chocolate milk. Now that you know what lures, leader material, and retrieve to use, the next step is the most important, persistence. As the saying goes, persistence pays off. Don't get discouraged if you don't hook a kingfish after throwing for 30 minutes or an hour. Just keep throwing. Profit. Finally, after throwing for hours, your hard work and persistence pays off and you're hooked into a kingfish. Enjoy the fight. Woo! Jack him up! That's there we go, game. there we go, there we go. Jack him up, Johnny! There we go, there we go, that's the king! There we go, there we go! That's it. Oh, I'm done, I'm done, I'm gonna get spoiled. I'm spoiled, look at that. Now that you know how to catch a kingfish, here's some that we've caught at the jetties. Woo! Woo! Look at that! Woo! That's what I'm Alright guys, just caught a kingfish. Nice one. 40. That has to be about about 40, 45, 44, 45. Fat though. Fat. On the Azuri lure, check it out. Woo! 
stinkfish. Hey, that's not a bad one, dude. That's not a bad one. Nah, you don't got the load. Get a tape on him. Woo! Get a tape on him. Uh, what are you doing? 47. That's a fat one, dude. That's bigger, bro. Oh, man. Look at that on a top water, guys. Look at them teeth. Hey, Beach. Let me know if that's a king. I'm not sure. Look at that. Feel them teeth. Let me hold it. Take a picture of me holding it. Feel them. I'm recording, right? Yeah, I think we both should be recording. Yeah, it was moving like crazy. Lower. That's a kingfish, right? Yeah. Yes, man. I think it's probably already dead, but uh, we'll find out. Let's see. That's going to be it. Hopefully this steers you in the right direction and helps you catch a king from the jetties too. Good luck. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to see more videos like this.